the Lego and TV network reported today to a row on the field. <laughs> and I guess my, my question is with Tua throwing, is there a possibility he might play Sunday, or do you want to be cautious and rule him out for Sunday and wait another week, even if he clears protocol this week? Yeah, I, was there some saltiness with that? Um, no, some MD? Network. Uh, it's a um, Lego network. Um, sorry, I was laughing with that. So, uh, no, the... Um, It'll be exciting uh, for today because, uh, as you know, really in these in these situations, you um, are relying on all medical advice and where what what people can do and what I've been told is he can uh, go out and and throw and do some individual work this week. So, or um, today, so that that's exciting for everybody just because you know really we just miss his personality. You know, he's he's a guy that. Um, we rely on, um, that, not to mention all of his play and all that stuff. Now, um, uh, when talking about this week and playing, uh, I don't see um, a scenario. I, I don't see him um, being active, um, and, I, and I'm not going to – I do not plan to have him play at all. I, it, it's something that this, this whole – um, process is a little tricky, and today he's just getting back to playing football for the first time in two weeks. You know, he hasn't been on a field playing football in two weeks. So um, today the the focus is, um, uh, you know, ag again, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself and um, think about uh, the Z component. I'm worried about A, and A is um, getting him on the field and having him throw a football and being around his teammates um, and that's that's what today's step is. And then moving forward, um, we'll go about 12 to 24 hours, right? Um, but I, I can I can say with certainty that uh, that he's not going to be playing this Sunday. What's the update on Bridgewater? What's the update on Bridgewater? Bridgewater, um, Teddy, right? Um, Teddy is. Uh, currently, um, progressing through the protocol, he feels he feels good. Um, his uh, the the soreness on his um, uh, pec is uh, is is getting better. Um, but in this stage of the protocol, he is um, uh, unable to do anything uh, football related with his team. So uh, you guys will when you guys are out there, I'm sure you'll see um, you'll see him, but he won't be. Um, you know, with the rest of the guys, he'll be on the side working with um, the trainers and trying to progress through this stage um, of, of the protocol as deemed. So does that automatically mean or likely mean that Skyler is going to be the quarterback Sunday? No, um, so the, the – um, really that Teddy's whole week is going to be he, – he's, he's just getting back – um, and able to do and work with the trainers today. Um, tomorrow he he'll be able to do a little bit of football in a limited capacity, um, and uh, as a result, um, we'll be um, moving forward with uh, s uh, planning on starting uh, Skylar Thompson this week. Mike, you mentioned Teddy will be able to do limited tomorrow. Mm -hmm. if, if I'm correct, would that be stage three of where he is in the process? If yeah. You're there? I um, the stages are a foreign language to me. I don't really uh, keep up with them because it's very simple. You're, you're, you, you, you're dealing with, uh, all these medical professionals that, um, uh, that are giving you instructions on what someone's allowed to do. And what I do know is he's allowed to, um, do non-contact, um, football tomorrow, um, in a limited capacity. So, He's uh, th that's where we're at. I'm not really sure um, what stage that is, um, but that it's the uh, it's the stage as I understand it is that he can he can play a little football, but it can't be in um, any sort of situations where he can um, uh, engage in contact, and that thus it's, it has to be a very limited um, role. Scenario and what, oh, go ahead. Yeah, in regards to that, I know that position is different than others because of the prep during the week. Mm -hmm. If he is 
for say cleared or Friday or Saturday, what's your comfort on being able him being able to play without having much full practice? Right, uh, it's a uh, that's a tricky question. Um, I as long as everything goes to plan um, with regard to his protocol procedure, uh, I, I'm very confident that he'll uh, just in Teddy in general. And so we'll, we'll, he'll be active for the game in that scenario and um, be backing up Skyler. Uh, with, with two of the, that, that report that Barry so eloquently described, um, it, it said that even if two, two is cleared that he won't outplay on Sunday, was that accurate? And if so, what's the threshold between being cleared medically and being you comfortable putting it back at risk? Yeah, so that it is, it is accurate in that um, – uh, I, I, there is a definite scenario that he will be cleared before Sunday's game, but it, in this particular scenario with regard to him, you know, like I just said, he hasn't done a thing on the football field for literally two weeks. So um, I don't think that that wouldn't be fair to the player. That wouldn't be fair to the team. That would – that would, I, I, I think that's something that um, – that I, I, I don't feel comfortable um, putting him in that situation. So um, I guess the whatever Barry's sources are, um, they're, they're pretty accurate. And I, I, I need to find out who your sources are. No, I was, just, I was citing a report from Rappaport and Sarah. Those are their reports. So you're, you got some big time sources, huh? Well, I think everyone <laughs> in the room saw the report. Oh. <laughs> Mike is the. If two is not going to play on this Sunday, is the target for him to play in the Steelers game? Uh, I, the, okay, I, I don't I, – I'm just trying – I'm excited to get him on the football field and see, you know, there's some progressions we have to make in terms of, hey, he has to throw a pass. Um, as far as his exact timeline of when he's going to play, um, I'll, I'll be excited to um, – have consider that whenever that comes up. But right now, I'm just, I'm just really focused on him um, getting out there uh, and and feeling good and and being around his teammates and um, that those types of decisions um, aren't aren't in the in the immediate future. Um, right now, I'll I'll handle that when when that comes after. Uh, you know, let's just get through this week and see see where we're at. Is basically the way that I look at it. And it's, the report said that uh, Tua was evaluated by four independent uh, specialists. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I guess the first time the after the Bills game, you were confident in the evaluations that happened. Um, I guess how do you feel now about the evaluations about where Tua is that he can uh, practice today and, and in his clear practice? Well, again, I, I. As a football coach, um, you you want to make decisions based upon information, and I, I'm much more comfortable making decisions um, in my area of expertise. So um, that's one of the reasons why we were um, excited to get you know some of the some of the best, most renowned um, people in their field of expertise and get their opinions on, and um, so that. I'll be relying on those um, exclusively because I, I do not fashion myself as a um, brain expert. So um, that's one of the reasons you get multiple um, opinions and you see um, the most skilled, highly, pre uh, highly prepared, schooled, and knowledgeable professionals that, that you can get your hands on so that you can have the most information possible from experts and not layman's. Give us updates on, you know, something very quick. Um, X, Armstead, Tyreek, come on. Mm. I think that was three. Um, the, so, um, you know, X and Armstead need the whole week. I, um, uh, you'll see X out there um, today. I don't think you'll see Armstead, but that's one of those um, – situations that we've it's kind of become the norm hasn't it um but we just kind of have to take it day by day um so they'll i know they'll do the best they can to uh 
to move forward and play the game because I know it's eaten at them. And then the third, Tyreek Hill. Um, he's uh, uh, he'll he'll be out there today. He's gonna get some work in, and he won't be practicing with a boot on. Coach, on Monday you had alluded to your captains kind of embracing that role of team captain, coming off these two losses and some adversity here this season. What are you hoping to see from those guys this week? Well, I'm hoping to see them. Um, I I think we had. I think we had three out of our seven captains last game um, uh, play the play the entirety of the game. So um, the I'm hoping to see them one, but also this is as I've stated to you guys, but I've stated to the team. Um, this is not something that um, is foreign to NFL teams. You lose two in a row. Um, that's the adversity that, in one way, shape, or form. Um, happens to every single team. And captains um, need to help lead people in the direction um, uh, out of that. So how do you do that uh, tangibly? Um, a multitude of ways. Um, and, and, you know, I, I really put a lot of pressure on those guys to um, make it their team because it is. So, uh, you know, one, one example um, that I, that I, that I was pumped about is I think you guys will have an open locker room today. Um, Tyreek and the, the captains decided that, um, you know, they wanted to take a step forward with a, all of their opponent prep with regard to the team and their preparation with our game plans in general. So that, so he made the move to take the ping pong tables out of the locker room. That, that, that to me is, um, leadership to me. Leadership is uh, acting, not talking. Um, there, there's a bunch of different examples from, from those guys, um, and, and that's why they're captains, and that's why I rely on them, because it's, it's about solving problems, um, not complaining about them. And they, they, they collectively, um, a, as, a, as a group of uh, players, wanted more time investment during the week on on their jobs for Sunday. So um, instead of just saying it, they did something about it. And uh, that that's the whole reason that, um, you know, I really have a lot of love for those guys. I wanted to ask you about Skyler. Um, because some coaches would start the veteran even on limited work uh, as opposed to, mm -hmm. to the rookie. What, what gives you the confidence that he's able to handle that moment? Um, uh, what gives me the confidence is that, you know, I wouldn't do it if I, if I didn't think the team, um, would, would agree, um, in terms of their confidence for him. You know, you're always trying to keep the pulse of how everyone feels. You know, the quarterback's job is to make people better. And, um, he's, as you, you guys have noticed, as a lot of people have noticed, he's not the run of the mill rookie. Um, uh, but but also like it's it's about a it's not just about the quarterback it's about a collective group of individuals working together um, and he's uh, he's going to have the opportunity to have um, all the full speed reps this week because of the the position that um, Teddy is in the in the protocol um, and you know we're very fortunate to have three quarterbacks that um, our our guys really believe they can. Um, uh, operate at a high level with, so um, it, it wasn't that difficult of a decision for me to make in this set of circumstances. When, when will you make a decision on Green Senate and whether you need to have a third quarterback available on game day? Yeah, um, you know, I think the the way things are going, um, it's probably going to be later in the week because, uh, you know, I'm, I can't wait what's in store for me today. You know, there's um, there's a lot of moving pieces, especially when you have um, you know, limited game day active um, situation, and and with with all the guys that really strain to make it on game day, with all of our bumps and bruises, that compounds um, that whole decision a little bit. So um, you're you'll you end up having to take the week to kind of process everything, see where people are at, see um, you know to make sure that um, those guys feel healthy. And uh, you know, if, if the need 
is necessary that does that does come at a cost to another roster spot um, for that game day active. Um, so you have to assess where that comes from, what groups um, can afford that, and uh, you know. So there's a lot of, a lot of different variables that go into that equation. What's uh, one teaching point that maybe you could share with us that you've given to Skyler after his first real game action going into this week? Um, I I guess when when I talked to him yesterday, I talked to all those guys yesterday. Um, one thing I said to him is that, uh, you know, you you take stuff, you learn stuff, but you but you also have to understand what the situation was last week. I want you, to, you know, he he was there were some things that he was definitely happy with. He definitely left the game feeling like, just like he thought in the preseason that he's an NFL player, but also that, you know, I made sure to hey look at these. 10 plays that um, I know you're not happy with. Okay, what's this common den denominator? There, were, there was some footwork stuff. There was, um, there was some timing stuff, all of which you can kind of connect to. That was his first live full speed rep of, you know, that footwork, that, that concept, that, um, you know, that progression. So this week you're going to be afforded all of those full speed reps. Understand that game is that game. Um, take the, take it for what it is. You got basically your your first start out of the way. This week you have a, a great opportunity to hone in on the details of all the things you'll be asked to do on Sunday. Um, and so move forward with that and gain confidence with that because um, if that's the worst that we'll, we'll see, which, you know, you talk about controlling the controllables, and and you can, if you're if you're going into a game, especially as a rookie, completely blind without reps, if that's the worst you're going to do, do we're we're all right. So it should you should get confidence in an ironic way um, from that game that you, without a shadow of a doubt, can play up to your own personal standard, and and that I, I wanted him to. Because to me, that's a big deal, and I, it, it made me confident in him that he was able to do what he did, own the game plan, and be, um, uh, be, be a pretty darn good decision maker without having anything full speed of that given game plan, which, which you know, in this game, in the National Football League, the difference between that is the difference between an interception or a completion. So timing is everything. This full speed work is vitally important. And I know he's going to make the best of it this week. So be excited and just go after it because everybody believes in you. Mike did, Quickly, I, Mike, did I hear you correctly when you said that if Teddy clears protocol that he would be backing up Skyler? If, if there's no setbacks and he clears uh, protocol, yes, he'll be backing up. What kind of impact can that have for Skyler on the field? Because, I mean, on Sunday he goes in, first game action, no teammate or I guess no quarterbacks on the sideline with him. What, how big of a difference will having Huge. somebody in the room on the sideline? Huge, because in a game experience for a quarterback, you get coached, there's a lot of stuff going on, and you're taking in information from one, two, three voices. But then when you – we have a peer that has gone through it and has seen it, that translation, it might be one word, it might be um, a pat on the back. That, all, that teammate support is a very immensely huge thing for a, a player like that. And, and that's the great thing about that room that we, we really, uh, um, really, I hope, you know, all the rooms um, on our team can really be inspired by that group because they support each other, they make each other better, and it, it, will, it will make a definitive difference for sure um, having that support from, from his brother on the sidelines this week because it, it was a lonely sidelines last week. He just, he, all Skyler had to talk to was Bevel and myself. And we're great guys, but not that great of conversations.